Hi, I'm Eve Freeman, and I'm with Swamp Fox Television. We are in the beautiful Centennial Park in downtown Hartsville. This is a city full of art and culture, and today you're going to get to know more about it. With me today I have Judy Elvington, and she's a lovely lady who is part of the historic area here in Hartsville. Tell us a little bit about your role with Hartsville. Thank you for coming to downtown Hartsville, Eve. Um, I am the executive director of the Hartsville Downtown Development Association. Uh, we are a 21-year-old organization whose purpose is to stimulate the economic growth in downtown Hartsville, but to do so within a context of historic preservation, so that everything you see in downtown Hartsville is unique to our own individual tech. It's a pedestrian friendly, friendly area, and I really like that myself. You can get out and walk. The, the traffic here knows that people are here, and um, the area is really about people getting outdoors and enjoying that with their families, whether you have a bike or you have a puppy. Um, you're going to be comfortable here getting out and shopping and and really enjoying the culture the area has to offer. That's right. What we did uh, when we were trying to do a master plan for downtown was to make sure that people could walk from the cultural areas or the center of government, the library, walk to the YMCA. Um, you don't want to come a town where people just have to drive their car and just move it over and over and over. Tell us a little bit about some of the festivals that are coming up. We know that today we have the Black Creek sponsored Artist Crawl, yes. which is a really neat uh, event going on, but we've got a few coming up too. But the end of the month we'll uh, have a regional bluegrass, um, Cotton Harvest Bluegrass Festival. And that really defines the area too. <laughs> uh, some of our sponsors for that event are some of those who are directly involved in cotton. Um, bluegrass for this particular event will be held in our new venue, the Burry Park site, which okay. is just behind us. Um, brand new park that will be dedicated next month. We all like to eat, so she's going to tell us some of the restaurants here in downtown Hartsville that we can expect to find some really good food. We are excited to have a new restaurant, Lucci's Italian American Cuisine. Which Italian's always popular. Month. <laughs> Bizzle's Food and Spirits is an individually, a privately owned business that um, has wonderful food, early bird specials. They have a patio, and on Thursdays we have karaoke. And just across the street from that is a, a Midnight Rooster coffee shop and courtyard. So if you'd like right. to eat outside in the evening, you can do that. If you just want to cozy up inside the coffee shop, listen to impromptu music. Now, a Southern Candy Kitchen, a history of about 61 years right behind us that has frozen bananas, oh, chocolate covered oh, frozen best. bananas. <laughs> yes. Sounds delicious. Well, it's been so nice talking to you, finding out a little bit about the culture, the people, the entertainment, as well as the food. So we'd just like to welcome you to downtown Hartsville, where it's the art of good living.